Okay, so the winning team is Team 11. Okay, so it's yours. Here you are. Do you know what is inside? No, probably it should go to you. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So that uh, the bottom camera shows looking out the bottom and the other camera shows out the front and it's a great way to, to fly it. So you can fly it around your building and uh, not necessarily see where it's thrown in. So to take off, you just hit this button here on the iPad and all four blades spin and it takes off and uh, pretty much from there, uh, stabilizes itself. And then um, Sean can use his hand controls. Ogólnie robimy projekt Place Challenge. Projekt polega na tworzeniu wyzwań w szczególnych lokalizacjach oraz łączeniu ich w gry miejskie. No i pomysł z jaką mój kub, tutaj spotkaliśmy jeszcze kolegę, który z nami robi aplikację na Androida. No i tyle, liczymy na sukces, dlatego że nie ma takich rozwiązań, które wiązałyby poszczególne miejsca z wyzwaniami. Na dłuższą metę, tak żeby szkoleń w danych miejsc powracał. Chcę stworzyć system taki, który będzie wiązał silniej markę z użytkownikiem przez wyzwanie, dłuższą interakcję. Już pracowaliście nad tym pomysłem wcześniej? Przed... Ja tak. To są, tak. I możecie już coś pokazać? Jakiś efekt? Czy jeszcze nie Na bardzo? Na razie wolę, byśmy nie pokazali. Mm. A skończycie do jutra, czy... Yy... Czy niemożliwe? Ścieżkę, którą chcemy mm. pokazać, tak. Mm -hmm. Jakie technologie to robicie? Yy, dotnet. Dotnet i Android. Okay, uh, hello, uh, we are uh, team number 11, uh, so we want to present you uh, the idea, basechallenge.com. Uh, so, uh, please look here and there, uh, there are uh, video uh, on the second screen. Uh, we are team number 11, uh, we are team of three, uh, Martin Borewski, Jakub Kondziela is there, and this is Roman. Okay, what is the problem? Uh, what is the number one problem of the every reader in the world? Customers, I think. Customers uh, call for traffic. And when, uh, when uh, all customers know about uh, uh, when uh, owner know about customer uh, in front of the cash machine. So we think it's too late. So uh, look here. It's food traffic to buy something conversion. Here is fashion. It's uh, 20 percent. Here is electronics about 50 percent. Here is restaurant almost 100%. And this internet, half to 3%. So, we want to uh, change it and uh, present offers before leave the store. Okay, fourth method. We've got a city game centric and business uh, centric things. Uh, here you've got opportunities. Engage people with grants. Uh, give coupons, create challenges, your places to promote. This and this is some kind of city game. Tell the brand story through experience. People here are going in linear way, and we've got a scenario in non-linear way. You've got some <laughs> some map of it. Okay, reality century. Uh, in this platform, we've got uh, coupon points, uh, reality cards. You can integrate your reality card from your wallet to virtual wallet. All your loyalty cards you can have in one, one system and uh, create revenue from it. Okay, competitors. You know Foursquare, Govala, Yeb and Liar, of course, but here is the difference. Uh, we are not the same platform. Uh, in that platform you grab reward in, when you go there. You go there, you go reward and that's all. Uh, and then you go to other other places. You want to influence people to do something more and go back to to conference. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, creating market scenario, games, trying to be a company places, and when topics about places, people saw time and weather where people are there. Special place challenges, game wizard, all that you can get via wizards. You don't have to go to business development 
and so on. Okay, we have demo here. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Uh, I just joined you guys on uh, the weekend and we decided that I would create a simple app, a uh, simple Android app that would present a very, very simple business case. So I propose, I think that would be the fastest just to play the video. The app is here and it's, re it's really working. Um, we can show it, we'll just give it a phone and you can have play with it. Um, just please play the movie. So this is the first screen. It, um, L is just the main screen of the app. Now you can see the available games, which is the startup weekend game. Then goes to um, just the description of the game, and we can confirm it to run it actually. Who get, creates the games? Um, the business. And they can. They have the wizard that um, can actually. They can build their own scenarios. Uh, Martin will tell you more about that. Continue. Continuing with the app, that's the difficult one. And uh, you just get the tasks that you need to you need to solve, or just go to places like visit three different restaurants in one city. Um, the application will give you the, the tips as you go as you go on. So you can see that that's the first task is just to visit our new place at Novoshka and have one of our premium breakfast sandwiches. Um, okay, if we complete it, so just click so. Um, we'll get another task, uh, visit another another place, another restaurant, and uh, at the end of the day, visit at uh, the evening time, visit Matogetska, and have a bite before going on a, on a clubbing night. And if you solve all the tasks, you get the prize. Um, this time, you get a deal. <laughs> But um, of course, the price may differ. That depends on the business needs. This may be loyalty coupons, maybe just a one-time discount. Uh, it's like a whole bunch of possibilities. So it really depends on the scenario. Uh, it may be simple, may be complicated. And um, that's the framework that guys built. I just built the, the simple app to present the, the case. Uh, very, very quick uh, summary. Uh, so. We think uh, that big partners in that uh, project, those big money across big results, big experience and big influence to people and companies. And uh, I think we will do it better than uh, other uh, companies who will engage people in points, rewards and variety cards. Okay, that's all okay. team number what's 11. The, uh, what's your target? Is it local businesses or network businesses? They are very different. Uh, yes. We are looking for network businesses because uh, we want to create big platforms where big companies creating a lot of challenges in big cities to people. Not only in Poland, I think. Uh, this is uh, one answer, uh, one question before. Uh, you also create a game uh, not only by business, it is wizard, so uh, people could create games for people. Uh, here you got engaging people by people and in that the same platform you have engaging by big companies or a big, uh, big uh, not other people. Do you think these big guys can create cool games? Uh, yes, I think uh, they could create uh, cool games because uh, they have a lot of localization and uh, through that localization uh, they, I think, could create uh, changeable games. Uh, in USA, I, I saw a lot of uh, that game, the city game, and I think uh, companies and uh, marketing side of cities uh, could create very challenging games for people. Okay.